Hey, it's Justin Lacey with HorribleNight.com back for another Game Curious video. Today's game is Devil Daggers. Here's what I know so far. It's been out for a couple weeks and I haven't played it at all. I've heard some podcast conversations about it and uh, actually I came across it uh, a couple months ago and just posted screenshots in I think the original trailer to our Horrible Night Slack. Uh, I knew it was kind of a 90s based uh, first person shooter that's always been an action style that's appealed to myself and Coop and a couple of the other guys but if I find a game that I like the style I'm probably going to play it if the, if the money's right I'm, I'm going to end up playing it and at that point I kind of give myself a little bit of a media blackout I don't need to find any further information it's like here's a 90s FPS I like those games this looks interesting let's give it a shot and that's kind of where my thought process stopped honestly at that point I didn't expect to hear much from the game other than then uh, it's out and just kind of a fly-by-night type of game where it just kind of comes and goes. And uh, Devil Daggers got some people buzzing, so it stayed on my radar. Since then, I've kind of learned that basically you're trying to stay alive for as long as possible. Actually, the first thing that jumped in my head was Super Hexagon meets Quake. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm expecting to die a lot. I kind of have an idea of kind of where that first hurdle is. I actually had the podcast I was listening to kind of spoiled um, a little bit of that for me, but I'm really curious just how long it takes me to get over those first hurdles and if I stick with it and if I, afterwards, if I keep coming back to the game. I'm either going to be really addicted to it, kind of hate myself for playing the game and the, as the game beats me up, or I might be completely turned off by the game. Either way, I'm excited to play it. Let's get into Devil Daggers. Well, hello, Devil Daggers. Let's see what you got. Ominous. I mean, skulls are intimidating, but not when they're that light and just floating up like a lava lamp. It's kind of relaxing. I'd buy a skull level lava lamp. Let's play. All right. I think I have one place to go. Why are you holding your hand like that? Well. Gonna make it. Gonna shoot out of your fingers. Okay. I made my hand orange. Oh, oh shit! Oh gosh! That was quick. Got that thing. And something killed me. Well, that was quick. Seventeen seconds. Any other? Okay, so we're just we're we're going for Josh's sixty-one. All right, keep it going. Oh, we don't have to pick up the sword again. You're gonna die. Oh. Oh, jeez. Where the f <laughs> did that thing came from? <laughs> Twelve seconds. All right. Man, I want to kill this thing because that's where all the shit's coming out of, but... Okay. Oh! That's what popped up behind me. You always gotta be aware what's going on around you. And do you kill these things or kill the spawner first? Man! Alright. 24. I'm making progress, but also... No good sense of like where shit is or how much is out there like, how many of these things do I kill now if it's a one hit kill feels like it's a one hit kill what was that oh we got another one of these Whoa. 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 oh man lots of spawners That one's gone. Now oh, don't just blindly run backwards. Oh, something's behind me! Something's on my ass! Oh boy. Kill the big one. Kill the big one. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, that's gross. Some more spawners. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> 57! <laughs> Almost by accident. Top of the score. You're going down, Josh. You're going down. Oh, I fell off the map. That's a thing you can do. 
Okay. Fallen. Okay. Over here. Get rid of the big thing. Oh boy! Don't die from those. Don't get one of the eyeballs there. Kill it. Don't stay still. Don't stay still. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Gosh, those are creepy. Like, I I've never seen skulls slither, but that's pretty much what they're doing. You're gonna die. Oh, gosh, he's coming after me. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Go. Where the red is exposed. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Swooping in behind me. Swarmed. Apparently, I got four gems. I don't. I noticed two of them. Mine. Oh. Took it. Got it. Got to stay moving. Oh. No. Apparently, if you tap. Versus holding it down. That's the thing. Yeah. Where's the big guy? Oh, I like this. I like tapping better. Oh my. <laughs> it's important. Get that spread in there. Man, how lucky did I get with the 50 second run? Don't go backwards. Do not go backwards. Oh. They're definitely swarming. That's how you take care of those. Whoa. Fuck. Scream is shaking more than it normally does. Ugh. Get it? Oh, that's that's a problem. I guess you just always have to assume that there there is a trail of them behind you. I do like the atmosphere, though. And they make creepy noises. Oh boy, here comes another batch. See ya. Oh man. Oh boy. Stop shooting, get dudes out. I don't have. Oh man. Got that one. Oh, I got lucky. Got that one. Creeper. Did I get longer? How was that not longer than 57? At 50, I'm guessing that's deaths. Four, killed 44 things, got four gems. That seems to be how it goes. 14% accuracy. Here we go. Okay, I think that's an important dude to kill. Does he keep? Does they keep spawning stuff. Ah! We'll never know. Do they keep spawning things, or is it just the one match? Man, that shotgun discovery was kind of huge. Nice. Screwed that up. Well, that's definitely he's definitely spawning more. Oh 
more of those. Kill them all. Oh, come on. What was that? I don't even know what killed me. But apparently that was my second longest run. Didn't feel like that 50 second run felt like the longest run. Give that Jimmy, give it Jimmy. I'm gonna go after the big guy. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Got it. Here we go. Woohoo! Hello! He's swooping on through here. Hey everyone. Alright, everybody's. Oh, we're going backwards. That's a bad habit. Bad habit to get into. Swirl him, swirl him. Oh, hello. Oh boy. Oh my. What is that? What was that? What did I run it? Sacrifice. Did I. What did I. What was that? I thought I blew that thing up. And how was that? Again! Why did the 50 seconds feel longer than the 51 and the 57? I have no sense of time. And there is no time. Get it. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was pathetic. Nope. That definitely worked. Except for the part where the stragglers got you. Yeah. And the one that escaped. Why am I struggling with this? I thought I had a new tactic. You're going backwards. Uh, <laughs> it's like I'm... Oh, man. But something caught up to me. They're faster. 50 seconds! The longest 50 seconds. 50 seconds is longer than 60 seconds. There you go. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. I sacrificed? No, it swarmed. Oh, boy. No, oh, started going backwards. Oh, 56. 56 is less than 61. Oh, no. I swear their speed is kind of varied for some reason. No, no. <laughs> I totally knew they were behind me too. It was just awful. All right, Spider-Man. Oh my gosh, what is that? Circle, 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 strafe, circle, strafe, circle, strafe. And to death. 45 seconds. Did you die? Hop, 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 hop. Why does that get laughing at me? Oh, it's getting out of control, guys. <laughs> 56! Damn it. I don't know what you are, man. Oh, boy. Damn it, what was... I don't notice that guy every time. But he's a badass, right? Like, I gotta take care of him. Right around the time the spider spawns. Buddy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that shooting. Right, let's see if I can't find a badass. There's the badass. Oh boy! Killed the badass, but didn't take care of his friends. Don't stop, don't stop. Never a reason to stop. Never a reason to stop. Place him down. Got that one. Nice. Nice. 
Nice. Take care. Clean up, clean up, clean up. It's about to get real. Kill the bad boy. Kill the bad boy. What are those slimy, goopy guys? Slimy, goopy guys. What? What? What did I get? I got a sword. Why did I get a sword? Why did I get a sword? I know it's a dagger, but I'm excited. That, oh. How anticlimactic was that? New high score! Woo! You didn't beat your friend! Do we quit? Do we quit? Or do we beat our friend? Ugh. Oh, hello! Oh, what the hell? Damn it! I couldn't shoot him. Oh, swooping in. I didn't get that. Didn't get to that one. Shit. Bad, bad crowd control. I like it. Oh, what the hell? 11 seconds. That's, you're going the wrong way. Ah! <laughs> Slid right into him. Give me your eyes. Whoa! There we go. Come on. Big boy. Big boy. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh, the, the bad boy's down. Gosh, when do I focus on him? Oh, no, there's another bad boy. Stay focused. Ignore all the shit. Ignore how well you're doing. Just kill this damn spider. But hey. 69. <laughs> Man. This is going to keep ramping up from there, too. That was... Yeah. Woo! I want to kill a spider, but I, I don't think that's happening, happening tonight, so... Woo. That was... Definite progress. What is? Look at those things crawling around. Oh man, I got some creepy ass enemies. Well, that was kind of actually the most useful that uh, autofocus for my webcam has been in a while. Because that's how I feel about devil daggers. That is, that is some uh, intense. Arcade leaderboard chases, because um, all all I was focusing on was getting to, well, beating my score and then beating and topping Josh's score. So, um, and uh, and it, it helped because all of those rounds were. I mean, I I noticed that plateau around 50 seconds, like whether or not you're gonna have a good run or not. Like it's easy to throw away uh, the shorter rounds, like when you just screw up and or random shit happens, but. Um, man, just feeling that game build and build and really that last run started noticing like the giant floating skull that had killed me from behind several times and I tried to start focusing on killing him when he showed up and I did that a couple times and then that last run then you start noticing, oh shit, they're spawning more of those guys and then I still have no idea what was going on with that spider and just letting the, the game kind of continue after I died and start to see the other enemies that are spawning. There's a lot, there's a lot happening in that game and man definitely was screwing up by not doing much crowd control at first like you gotta thin thin the herd not just run around and let them chase you but i got focused on trying to get a couple big guys get the gems i will say i didn't really feel anything from the gems i know 
um, just from reading about it, that uh, they do something to upgrade the weapons, but instantly didn't didn't notice anything. I definitely would be more into Devil Daggers if there's more more friends to chase. Global leaderboards don't do anything for me. I, I really dig the style like it just just the aesthetic of the game being called back to those 90s fps games but then not being a traditional one like being more of an arena when i heard that it's just all about surviving as long as you can it started reminding me of super hexagon which is absolutely totally stylistically different but like the premise of just just surviving and doing what you can to survive it no this game does in some ways it's it's a puzzle game and just a survival game but has has all the circle strafing you could want from a 90s action shooter so and then definitely all the the hellish artwork that doom and quake fans will definitely attach themselves to it was nice to kind of discover that that shotgun the alt fire that kind of combination between that and the, and the rapid fire feels really good and super quick the rounds are short enough that it's really easy just to do just to dive in and do another round i'm pretty impressed by it honestly like it should have been a throwaway game i thought it'd be a throwaway game i've played a lot of these there's a lot of retro games or like games inspired by the games that I grew up with that you know they're not really standing out very much anymore. But this definitely does something different. Double Daggers is pretty cool. I couldn't find much on uh, the developers. It looks like they're the studio name is Sorath. I know Matt Bush, uh, one of the one of the developers or creators. Um, he's heavy on the leaderboards. He's always kind of near the top. Other than that, lo- looks like from this kill screen article that they that he worked on Dust Force. Man, this is this is really cool, really different game. A nice kind of addition to my library. Library is something you can just play in short doses, but if you could, but you can also lose hours to it if you really start grinding away at it. I think, like I said, if I had friends playing this, I could get super into it. I probably won't go back to it of my own volition, and unless like I've got you know ten to fifteen minutes to kill, and we'll see if I can get better. But once I don't know. If I happen to come back to it and get over that hurdle, I'll probably play it for hours. You know, right now I'm kind of capped off at 60 seconds, uh, surviving 60 seconds. But if I can push that to 75, I'm going to try to push that to 90, and then on and on and on. It's just a matter of how how often the success comes, and that's you know all based on me, less than the game. As it stands, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty great, um, pretty unique game. Um, glad i checked it out so uh devil daggers out now on pc for horrible night i'm justin lacy and uh i'll catch you with another game and another game curious real soon thanks